Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to be drawing the Iron Giant using Copic markers on grey board. This was my first attempt at using a grey board. I really wanted to try and make the highlights pop on this character, so I decided to use the grey board, which just gives me a slightly different coloured background. This was another real big learning curve. I've never used a grey board with the Copic markers before. I have had a go at using the Prismacolor pencils, and it's very, very different. The grey board really does soak up the ink, so I'm guessing that I'm going to be using a lot more ink if I use the grey board, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. The one major difference I found with the grey board was I had to sketch out the initial drawing with an HB pencil as opposed to the 2H pencil which I normally use. This is because the colour of the back of the card is, is much darker than the white that you get on the paper and it was very difficult for me to see the lines. I'm using some very fine line permanent markers. They come in different nib sizes and I'm actually using a 0.03 for the majority of this Iron Giant line work. I really liked uh, the feeling of the Copic markers going into the card. Uh, you get a really, really streak free finish, even more so than you do with the Strathmore Bristol. For the rest of the drawing, I use my Cool Greys 1 to 7 and I had a little bit of black in there as well. And for the highlights, I used a white Prismacolor coloured pencil. And I really, really like how it turned out. I added some clouds at the end and some uh, the eyes with the white Prismacolor pencil too, just to sort of have some contrast and try and get that metal shine to it. All in all, this drawing took me about four and a half hours from the initial sketch all the way through to putting the ink down. I'm really quite happy with how it turned out, but I'd love some feedback. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the grey board drawings or do you prefer it on the white paper? I think there's going to be uh, a lot of drawings out there that I can do which are going to look better on the grey board. So I'm thinking more metallic uh, kind of objects will go down well. Also with the very light Copic markers going into the grey board, you don't get the vibrant colour that you do if you're working with the, with the white paper. So it might be something that I only use sporadically if I'm using very dark colours, so the dark blues, the dark reds will, will go down very well with the grey board, um, but possibly not the lighter colours, the lighter flesh tones. If you guys are liking this type of video, you're liking the art tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications icon. I'm also doing request videos, so if you've got something that you'd like me to draw, you've got a tutorial you'd like me to cover, then don't forget, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what, you, what it is you'd like me to cover, and I will get round to those. You can also find me on social media platforms. I'm on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and the links to all of those are down in the descriptions below. I had a real lot of fun with this drawing. Uh, I must watch the movie. I've not watched the movie. It was released back in 1999. So I think I might uh, have a go at that. If you've got anything else that you'd like to ask me or any questions about any of the art, then please feel free. Leave me a comment down below. But I'd really like to know for today's question, what's your favourite animated movie? What's your favourite animated movie? I'm going to give this one a go, see what I think of this one. Uh, and I'm going to leave you with the final drawing now with the uh, clouds and the moon in there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.